Well, she's the judge who presided over the worst sexual abuse case in history. And now Judge Rose Marie Aquilina is speaking out about the continued need for a dialogue on sexual abuse and about why she let so many victims speak in her courtroom. Nick Monticelli talked with the judge today. I don't have a dog in this fight, sir. As soon as Nasser pled guilty, Judge Rose Marie Aquilina was stern with the man who admitted to sexually abusing hundreds of women and little girls. But the story also highlighted the need for change when it comes to talking about and handling sexual abuse. That's why the judge is talking today on the Today Show and with Local 4. She reminds us that sexual abuse is a horrific problem that is not going away. Let's look back and say, how do we fix this? And then let's do it forward. That's the real story. Judge Aquilina and survivors of Nasser were named one of Glamour Magazine's Women of the Year. A huge honor, yes. But she's happier to be talking about abuse when before very few would. Are you concerned at all that this might fizzle out, so to speak, and that the conversation might die down? I am hoping that with awareness, it becomes part of our conversation. His lack of remorse meant something to you. Do you think that meant something more to the survivors as well? Yes. Uh, they, as they talked to me, they said, look at me, because he wasn't looking at it, he wasn't owning up, and that was part of my sentencing. One of the things that I've talked to many of the survivors about, and it's strange to say and strange to hear, but is, is the phrase good coming from Larry Nasser? Obviously what he did was horrific, but do you think there is good that can come from this case? Absolutely. The awareness and uh, talking about it has brought forth so many other victims who said, me too, it's time now, I want to talk. Those brave sister survivors could talk. I have heard from women all over the world, literally, that this was so healing for them. Healing that for many is going to take a lifetime. In Detroit, Nick Monticelli, Local 4.